Moving off to Amador Arts Gallery, and not a lot of people know that in this historical building, the uh, General Store building, right next to the museum, is the Amador Arts Museum. And we're going to be talking to David Camardo about his work. And come on in and let's meet David. Your uh, career goes over a number of years in a number of different mediums, doesn't That's it? That's true, true. Could you give us a little bit of background on that? Well, let's see. I, I made art for a very long time uh, up and down the San Francisco Peninsula. I exhibited in, in, in San Francisco and I had one-man shows at Stanford University, different places in San Jose. But anyway, uh, when you leave a, a situation like that, uh, people look around and go, whatever happened to that guy? <laughs> and the thing is, I'm up here, and I'm you know, starting another aspect of my life. And making art really wasn't, I, I was preparing myself and I did. I bought a restaurant. I was a restaurateur, oh, but don't, that only lasted a, a short time. So I, I picked up my paint box and proceeded to paint. Uh, I wanted to go to volcano and, and paint volcano, and, oh. and I did. It was it was my theme for a couple of years. Um, but now the reason I'm here is because I was discovered up here. Oh. See, yeah. I, I I was pretty well known in. In the Bay Area, but I had to be discovered up here, which was Al Herrick and, oh, I love and the Hanford Gallery, yes. which they gave me a 50-year retrospective, which filled the place yes. with art that I had produced over a 50-year period. And a great deal of it was, was borrowed back from various people who had bought it over the years. And they even showed up uh, from San Francisco, from yes. Millbrae, a friend of mine flew in from uh, the place Santa Fe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a big, and I never saw so much of my work in one place at one time because I'd always sort of had exhibitions, one man shows, and group shows where there were just bits and pieces of a, of a whole almost lifetime. Mm -hmm. But, um, so do you want to show us some of the things that you have in this gallery? Okay, okay. yeah. Because um, today we're going to take a look at some of the things you have Yeah, to all offer. this work here w was produced since I've been up here in the last, I think, 18 years. Oh, 18 okay. Years. I'm noticing this piece over here. Okay. And could you tell me a little bit about this? I'm fascinated with it. Well, actually, you're going to see some paintings that will, will, uh, were two-dimensional. This is a three-dimensional. Basically, it's, it's, a, it's a sculpture. And, but it's it's a uh, it's a collection of, of materials that have been put together in this way to to make a uh, kind of a, a message of, of magic. Oh, I see. And even the table, and the table goes with the the, yes, the white thing. I can so see anyway, that. If whoever wants this, they can put it in their yeah. living room or wherever. But uh, magic is something that. I was doing, since I was 12 years old, I got interested in it. And um, and the thing is, the other paintings here that aren't volcano are the still lifes on the theme of magic. Oh, okay. So, and so the thing is, is, is up until recent times, magic was very dangerous. It was, it was political, it was religious, it, it yes. wasn't the Las Vegas lounge with <laughs> uh, those guys. In other words, now people laugh and applaud, but in those days, it was very grim stuff. If you think about the words, uh, voodoo, yes. witches, uh, well, shaman. Take a look at a few of them. Yeah, others, do that. Because we have, so we there have was a, a lot to cover. You have a, a number of things here. So th th is this oil? This is not or? for sale. This is oil. It's oh, not for sale. Okay. It's just okay. something that I did recently, and I w they wanted something big. Okay. So well, let's go over is. to. Is okay, this for thing, sale? Is this sculpture for sale? Yes, the sculpture is for sale. This is called script form, and I've done many versions. I've, I've carved these in uh, Carrara marble, and uh, I've carved them in uh, French limestone. But they're not available because I just did these in the last year. There's a couple of them, but I just brought one of them. It's um, 
It's bronze. It has a patina. It, it's on a, a nice, uh, I don't know, granite marble base. Uh, so there. It's. Uh, and you have it featured on one of your cards. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Hello. I see that you have. Uh, let's see. I see you have this metal piece here. Is this metal? Uh -huh. or That's does it just That's okay. lost wax aluminum casting uh, that can only be done in a foundry. Um, all of that calligraphy you see on there, and this piece is called the calligraphic catch. It looks like a fish, but that sort of calligraphy is very much my signature on, on a great many pieces I've done. And you might even remember seeing it at the Hanford Gallery. That It's just something I do to put a skin or put a surface on uh, a piece of sculpture, yeah. which I've been doing forever. But these were just cast recently um, at, a, at a foundry down in Sacramento. Um, again, it, the play on words, calligraphic catch. Uh, those are expensive because of the process and the time Absolutely, it takes to do them. Yes. So, but uh, they're available. Okay. Well, I, I think you have in this other room of the gallery, I believe you have your volcano paintings. Yes. And could you tell us about these? And these are several of probably 30, I think there are eight of them here. But it was just something I did every day. Um, when I, my plans for restaurant fell through, and <laughs> I was able to sell out. And so, so now I was up here, and I didn't really have what I wanted after I left the Bay Area. So I just, actually, it had been like maybe 12 or 15 years that I hadn't been painting because I'd been making sculpture. But anyway. So anyway, so I, I headed for Volcano, and during the week, it's a very sleepy little town. There's nobody there, except there's one nice old lady that <laughs> was uh, always uh, greeting people. So I would set up at all these different venues, and of course, uh, th this is the old schoolhouse, and there are people, all probably my age, who went to school there. Oh. But, but the place has been closed for uh, a great many years. And it's been turned into a residence. But anyway, that's the elementary school of, uh, of a whole many, many generations of people, probably starting from the gold rush. Wow. Um, so these are historical buildings. Yes, yes. And these are in oil? They're all oil. Um, now this one here is, was, a, was a brewery. And it turns out those miners like to drink beer because <laughs> there, that wasn't the only brewery. But it's a wonderful house, um, and a woman who publishes uh, yes. books and magazines, Ruth Gottstein, lives right. there, and I, I visited with her a great many times. And uh, I believe she still lives there, doesn't she? Yeah, mm -hmm. right. And her son and daughter-in-law, and she's got another son that lives nearby. But anyway, she's she's very active with uh, local politics, and right. she'll tell you all politics is local. Yes. Yes. But. Um, this is a very familiar landmark to uh, I thought I recognized Volcano. it, yes, yeah. as, her, as her residence. Right, and then now, of course the, okay. the, the St. George Hotel is another old, old structure. It turns out when, whenever a miner made a lot of money, the first thing he did was take a bath and have a hotel built. Oh. Huh. <laughs> that was a status thing in those <laughs> days. That was a status thing. It was to, uh, you, you, you go to Moke Hill, there's one called the Leger, or they call it the oh, Ledger. Yes, yes, They're all yes. over the place. Oh, and there were just these guys who, nice to know who had a few bucks and they wanted to do something. Um, I see your uh, painting of your sculpture over here. Pretty okay. close. Pretty close. Pretty yeah, close. Pretty huh? close, yeah. Probably was. And what about this? this well, that's this the Cobblestone the Theater. It's the oh, smallest it's the theater. theater performance, legitimate performance theater in California. I think it seats 20 people. <laughs> now, is there anything that you want to tell the audience to come and uh, uh, take a look at at this gallery? Because not a lot of people know it's here. Well, uh, I did what I could to uh, make it coherent. Um, I'm assuming a lot of local people 
will be here. And as opposed to when, when I did the 50-year retrospective, when I invited people from all faraway places, well, I didn't do that this time. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm keeping it local. So everybody knows this, this uh, town. And let's see. And I um, hope that uh, this little segment of yours will bring some more people here. Yeah. Thank you very much, David.